The journey towards inclusion of the China A shares in our flagship indices has been a long one. Now, the consultation was a long and in involved process, uh, including many, many participants, and uh, it, it was not an easy journey. Uh, it, it was a journey that required a, a lot of hard work, but ultimately, we reached a point of consensus where we felt uh, last year was the right time to make that first move. This is a monumental development in our industry and in this lifetime because you're not going to encounter an event as large and as impactful as this. In a full inclusion scenario, uh, China A shares and Chinese stocks overall will account for nearly half of the emerging markets index. It's getting harder and harder to, to seek for alpha, and uh, so China will uh, provide a new frontier. And we've seen through the last few crises that uh, global markets and global asset classes tend to uh, increase in correlation during the crisis, and China is a very good d diversifier in, in that sense. In boardrooms all around the world, in investment committees all around the world, everyone must be grappling with this question of how to uh, how to meet this challenge of including China into their global portfolios. In terms of enhancement of accessibility uh, and, and the further steps of inclusion, I, I think uh, part of it is just going to require time. Uh, as foreign investors start to dip their toes, those that, that have not been exposed to China starts to enter China and get used to it being a part of their global uh, portfolio mix and, and understanding the characteristics. Uh, I think that comfort will allow them to take further steps. The China A shares is just the beginning of the journey. Now it's to get the owners of the capital, as many asset owners from around the world, as well as participants like asset managers uh, and regulators in a room to discuss the, uh, the implications uh, and the next steps.